Andreas studio, smack in the middle of Oslo. What's your background and uh, how did you decide to become a designer? I studied art history at the university for five years yeah. and then I was, uh, I was planning to go on to do a master yeah. and I realized that I wanted to <laughs> be more practical. I've always been interested in, in objects yeah. and, and in furniture and in things. For my sake, I think um, it was necessary to, um, to get this kind of relationship to the objects that surrounds me. Uh, so uh, being a designer also means that you create objects and if you create objects, you in a way control them. Is there a se secret formula for an object to become sustainable? The function is must be there. That you know that that's obvious. Uh, but more and more, I see that there are also parameters related to uh, tactility and uh, and form itself mm -hmm. and um, quality uh, in a wide sense or broad sense. Being more uh, conscious about what you buy and how you buy and how you consume. When you started off your career in design, uh, did you have an idea what you wanted to accomplish? I like to work with things that I don't know much, so much about. Mm -hmm. I like to to be uncertain. Mm -hmm. I think that's okay. good, good quality. Most interesting to see what, what I'm able to, to pull out of myself in terms of um, and the projects that I do and, mm -hmm. and, and, and so on, but of course you are also dependent on the, uh, on the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. But uh, no, I, I'm, I, I'm not very specific uh, in that way. And, and, and now I work with very different uh, categories. Are there some golden rules to create outstanding design? It has very much to do about um, experience, I think, and the importance of the good dialogue and the importance of a manufacturer backing the pro product itself is uh, of tremendous uh, importance um, in order to succeed. This unholy marriage between the producer and the designer, how can you develop that into become a sustainable partnership? I think it can be developed in, in many different ways, but of course um, I can see that um, this business, the field of design, has always uh, been about relationships uh, and personal relationships. And I think uh, when they occur and when they work, uh, that is many ways, or that represents probably the best. Um, the best uh, opportunity to create really, really good things together because it has to be like a, a, a mutual respect and understanding of each other's roles. Starting off the design process, uh, going into a new assignment, where do you start? There are no real method. There hasn't been any uh, scientific research around the process of making things. Uh, I think it is very, very difficult uh, to to isolate uh, the creative pr process being a designer. It's very difficult. If you look ahead, what is the most important thing for you when it comes to developing your own design skills? Or I think the field of design are heading into a very exciting period. It's becoming more and more evident that we have to um, focus on quality in a, in a broad sense and, and, and teach people something about quality or something about uh, function. It's good to know that um, good and strong objects uh, are being noticed. For a young designer, to be successful, do you have an advice? Uh, Framlutting, or um, that's a Norwegian word. If you look at the, the practice being a designer uh, in an isolated perspective, I think that uh, uh, each and every designer should must try to get to the point where you uh, where you can extract precise um, information or insight uh, out of yourself. Uh, when you are working in, in, in a creative process. But that's also the, uh, the, 
the mystical part that is not possible to to frame or the value contribution from the designer is um, is very very important and is going to be more and more important.